In our practice, we specialize in cataract and premium lens replacement surgery. In other words, we replace the aging lens with lens implants to help people see better and become less reliant on glasses and contacts. Well, unfortunately, there's no perfect lens implant. In other words, there's no commercially available or man-made lens implant that can reproduce the optical quality and range of vision of a normal 20 to 30 year old. When new lens become FDA approved and commercially available for our patients, we use them. And only through time and experience do we find out which lenses work best for most people. In some of my recent videos that I posted during the second half of 2021, I shared our patient's experience and our experience with three premium lenses that we use extensively in our practice. And I'll share the links to those videos in the space below. The Synergy lens is one of the premium lenses that we used extensively between June and November of 2021. And while the vast majority of patients receiving the Synergy lens saw great, what we found over time was that about 5% of patients with a Synergy lens did not like their vision at all. They were intolerant of the way they saw, primarily for long distance vision. And unfortunately, the only way that we could help these people see better or obtain a quality of vision that they were more satisfied with was to perform a procedure called an intraocular lens exchange or IOLX. And that's where we remove the Synergy and replace it with a different lens implant to help them see better. Now, 5% is not a high number, but in our profession, in our specialty of eye surgery and ophthalmology, a 5% explantation rate is simply too high. So in November of 2021, I pretty much stopped offering the Synergy lens for our patients. I thought it would be useful if you heard from one of the patients who I placed the Synergy lenses in for premium lens replacement. She'll share with you what her vision is like through the Synergy lenses. And then she'll share with you what her vision is like when we removed and replaced her Synergy lenses through that procedure, intraocular lens exchange, with another type of premium lens called the Panoptics lens. Please keep in mind that I have no financial interest in any of these companies mentioned in the video who make any of these lens implants. My interest is simply to educate you and others who may be considering surgery or who have had similar problems after eye surgery about how people see with certain lenses and that there might be a solution for patients if they are very, very, very dissatisfied with the quality of their vision after receiving a premium lens, in this case, the Synergy lens. If you're watching this video and you have questions about your eyes, know in advance that if you send me an email or a call, I really can't offer any medical advice. I can't diagnose your problem. I can't tell you what to do. The only way I can offer medical advice in a, in a true sense, in an ethical way, is that if I've examined your eyes personally and know all the facts and facets of your eye, and I know everything that we need to know in order to offer you sound medical advice. All right, so Katie, in October, you had elective premium lens replacement to both eyes. Your starting point was you were nearsighted on both eyes and you had astigmatism. Correct. So you had to wear glasses to see far away, right? Yes. Okay, and we put in the Synergy lens to your right eye first, October 19th, 2021, then your left your right eye surgery was a week afterward. Now we're about two months out. You have Synergy lenses in both eyes. 
on testing your vision on your right eye is 20-20, your vision on your left eye is 20-25, far away, and your up close vision is 20-20 each eye. That's objective testing. Your prescription on your right eye is minus 0.25 without any astigmatism, and your left eye is minus 0.50 without any astigmatism. And with that, you, you see 20-20. Can you describe subjectively how you see from each eye or from both eyes together? Together and separate, but it's very fuzzy um, around the letter. It's very fuzzy. Um, I felt like I could see tree leaves before and now they are, there is a tree with leaves, but they're not significantly a piece. Um, I have some movement on the outside on this edge and on this side on this edge um not like an active movement but almost more like a halo haze and on the letters on the wall a halo haze i can read when i'm driving down the freeway but nothing is pretty and nothing is clear um, but i can read the signs um, green and white together are very difficult um, they are hard to read until I'm almost up on them on like as a street sign. Um, black and white is very nice to read, um, but there's nothing that's completely clear like it should be if it was done all new. So you could see leaves on trees with glasses before surgery. Mm -hmm. Have you been able to see leaves on trees clearly after surgery? Mm -hmm. Right after I had it done immediately, yes. And then it's gotten progressively more and more hazy as the days go on. And, and at night, the halos are so large that they touch each other. The two lights touch each other. The outside edge is very large. And if there's two cars together, it's almost like a bar of a haze. Okay. And so for reference, we looked at your right eye and left eye through the microscope. The capsule surrounding your right lens is clear. The capsule surrounding your left lens is a little hazy, but the quality of your vision through your right eye, which has a clear capsule, is the true test. And, and so this lens, I know it has a little fingerprint on it. Um, if you cover your left eye and put it in front of your right eye, so this brings your right eye into ideal focus. You have no prescription. Everything looks good. Structures of the eye are normal. But describe what's not quite right about your vision. Um, there's an A in the, the frame, and the inside of the A is um, running over into each other. So I can see like a shadow where it makes the center look very small on the top portion of the A. There's more of a haze on the right side than the left side, but it's all very not clear. I can see the A, it's there, but it is not clear. It is not pretty and, and defined. There's a just a haze on the whole outside. And when you're when when you're looking at, at me, do I look normal, sharp, clear? No. What's you're just fuzzy. You're just fuzzy all over. Not tons. I mean, you are clear. I uh -huh. can see you, um, but like I cannot see the pupils of your eyes. I can see like a haze around your eyebrows. Um, the top of your ear where your hair meets your ear, it's very undefined there. Perfect. And so our plan, you can put that down and relax. Our plan is to remove the Synergy lens and I'm gonna replace it with the Panoptics lens, mm -hmm. which I'm, I'm learning it just gives better quality of vision than the Synergy lens. And your husband had the Panoptics lens mm -hmm. and he's seeing fine, right? He seems fine. Okay. Any questions, comments? Um, I'm excited because that's what I was after was the clarity. Yeah. My sight wasn't really terrible, but with the st bad stigmatism, I was after the clarity. So that's what I'm missing. In both eyes, you were nearsighted before. And then two months later, it's December, you had synergy in both eyes. And what was your issue? What was what was bothersome about the way you saw with your synergy you lenses? always feel them on the outsides like there was a border like there was pressure there you can also see a little bit of a, a rim or um an edge kind of all the time they felt very heavy almost like making your eyes feel heavy on the sides um 
my vision was not terrible, but it wasn't, um, I didn't have very bad vision before and it didn't improve it a lot. Okay, um, so then it's, I mean, go to that timeline. Okay, mm -hmm. mid-December, you were actually seeing on our chart with the Synergy lenses in both eyes, mm -hmm. 2020, mm -hmm. pretty much 2020 and far away and near. They were not comfortable. They were just, I don't know how to explain it. Was your vision sharp far away? No. No. Could you see the TV sharply? No. Like when I first, when they were first put in, you could see like the leaves on the tree, but it grew to where they, you couldn't see them. Then they were just kind of like they used to be where they were just kind of a tree, like there was a tree, but mm -hmm. not the sharpness actually of, of all the features of the tree. Okay. And she didn't have posterior capsule opacification. So then we mm -hmm. elected to exchange your... Uh, your right. synergies for the panoptics lenses. Right. We did them one eye at a time. I think when something is irritating, you don't see as well out of it. Uh -huh. and, and maybe only in your brain, but you, you, they're just clearer. They're just better lenses. They just, and they're totally different. I don't know that I can... Why did you? Now I have them both in my eyes. So now if you tried to take them out right now, I would tell you no. Yeah. The other ones, I was like, when are you getting them out? I just wanted them... I wanted, I, and you know, you don't know what to expect when you get your eyes done. So you think that they're okay. You think that that's normal the way that they are. They were not, they were not right. But we had taught, you had came in and you said, well, you know, you, we probably could do, um, there's that call that you could laser over and fix that one. And I said, I absolutely want this lens taken out. Mm -hmm. And we sat and we talked about it and mm -hmm. we said, you know, that we could, um, laser that one and then maybe then if it still wasn't okay we could come back and do it but it'd be a harder surgery and i was like i 100 percent want this other lens the lens is more comfortable the lens is a better vision the lens is clearer you know i i don't know it's just different it's just they're totally different than the other lenses and now you totally have different. pen optics in both i love them you can't have them back you can't have them back i think that's pretty much <laughs> it anything else you want to say i love these lenses 